All right, guys, Anthony here, Super Service. Got me a windscreen now because that sun. I made another video just now, but you couldn't really see nothing. You still really can't see much. But I got Tom's truck. It's 06. It is deleted. It's got a cack tube leaking pretty bad. Hang on. It's uh, pretty cold, though. Ejector chatter is pretty slow. We'll check pick them. We'll check that out. Though we got a cack tube leaking. We got all kinds of oil all over the place here. So, at least need a freaking cack tube on it. Don't know how it sounds or uh, how well we're on boost. Um, let's see. I don't know. Don't know what color coolant's in it. Oh. Don't know. It's either really nasty gold. I think it's probably really nasty gold. Uh, I'm going to drag it. All right, but hang on. All right, here you go. Six Edward Dog. So it's 06. Let's uh, see what codes we got. Here you go. Hang on just a second. Well, crap. Looks like we called a bunch of it just by looking at it. Fickham's performance. So, Fickham. We got, uh, damn, fan speed, no sensor. I wonder if that's from, he probably had some testing or I don't know. We'll find out. Fan speed, no signal. That's fan clutch. <clears throat> EGR, those are all from a uh, crank sensor. Wonderful. I wonder if he had a no start or something due to battery voltage or a no crank, uh, no no start probably from the Ficken performance it's starting like crap and by it not firing and it trying to fire then it sets a uh, crank sensor performance but under boost i think we called that a minute ago uh number six contribution balance damn number five number four holy shit crap i mean sorry mm. i hear a six liter pulling up i got my shade up i'm hiding from Somebody's here. Okay, so, uh, sorry. Uh, cylinder three contribution balance, cylinder four contribution balance, cylinder five contribution balance, and cylinder six. Now, if they weren't in succession, I could say maybe it was one plug on the Fickham, but I mean, this is all, I mean, unless three, four, five, and six have all been unplugged. Which, who knows? Under boost, three, four, five, and six code. P1000, I mean, uh, codes have been cleared sometime soon. And Fickham performance. So, uh, need to pick them. Crap. Mm. Hopefully, hopefully, we don't have a busted Y pipe, but I've seen this many, many times, guys. This is why when you do a delete, the which this truck has a delete on it, the force needed to loosen up the up pipe from the factory Y pipe. I'm telling you, I've seen it more times than not. The force needed, you are twisting the flex joints on the factory Y pipe, trying to take the up pipe apart. That's why when we go in and we do all that, replace the Y pipe, put a new Y pipe and the, the solid up pipe in. Right off the bat, then you never have an issue. Now, with that said, who knows? I haven't been under this yet. I don't know if we got a cracked Y pipe, but I, you know, we know we have a, a CAC boot issue, but. Possibly a cracked Y pipe. I don't know. We'll find out. But we got Ficken performance, three, four, five, and six injectors, and low boost, and crank sensor performance, which I wouldn't freak out on crank sensor because I bet you we just. Now that crank sensor, if I leave that, it will not allow me to run a power balance. So uh, let's go ahead and clear them codes out. And I don't know. We're probably going to have a heck of a time getting it to start with Ficken performance. We'll see how bad it is. I've had the key on for a while. So a lot of times when you have the key on and running, it will let that, it'll let everything get warm in the Ficum and have it start working. You know, it'll be better, but we'll find out. Hang on. There you go. EGR codes. That's it. Everything else is gone. So good deal. All right. Hang on. All right. This is straight up cold start. 28 degrees right here. 28 degrees oil. 8.6 volts on the EVP. That's okay. Battery voltage at 11.6. Eh. We'll see how well that fares out when I start cranking. Map appears to be all right. EVP appears to be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up. Well, let's let's cycle the key real quick. Let's see what Fickham does. Here we go. Off. Watch Fickham right here. Anything under... Boom. There you go. Anything under 45 is trash. So, you know, with how... That chatter is just horrible, you know. So we need a power supply, which 
whatever. Uh, kind of let it warm up a little bit. See if we can't get it to start. I mean, honestly, I used to just stop Diag. Time like right now, I would stop Diag because uh, we, we're not going to get accurate readings. With this one, with four injectors in succession messed up, I would probably go ahead and say this cold start needs to happen again. And we'll get the Fickham power. Get that issue fixed. But... For me, I do not like doing Fickums on cold trucks if I can help it. Do not like it because the, the tabs get broke because they're all brittle and everything's cold. I mean, we're 20 degrees right now, right? So I will get this truck started, get it hot. That way the tabs are all hot. Everything's hot. Yeah, it sucks to do hot, but you know what? Big freaking deal. Suck it up. Uh, get the Fickum off when it's hot. Everything unplugs better. You know, and, you, and I do not like to think, I hope... We don't break any tabs on the Fickums, you know, I just, I mean, take every precaution we can to try to not do that. Hopefully we don't have a long crank. I'm going to go ahead and get it started. Here we go. I fired up. It's not, it's not sounding real good. Seven, three, and six. Hang on, let's see what we got for, see what this voltage is doing on Fickham. See, it's low. Voltage is up a little bit right now. It's already charging 13.6, so. Let's just watch it real quick and see what we got. Seven just came back, we got three and six. Well, seven kind of came back. You can see seven. These are the injectors that are, this is the basic, the rotation of the crankshaft is what this is. Look, there's number two dropping. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Let me... The blue line is where we're at. The green line is pretty much baseline. That's where we want to be. And the gray line is history, obviously. Six is gone, three is gone. Let's let it run a little bit and let it warm out up, up and I'll do a relative compression. Get a little temperature on it, but just idled up. I'm actually going to... Yeah, it's bad. Honestly, something like this, man, was we're having three, four, five, and six contribution balance codes. I mean, we can try it. We can put the power supply in, but honestly, I, this, this ain't a power supply issue. I mean, it could be caused by the power supply. Who knows? I mean, I haven't really seen much merit to that. It's kind of a, it's an online thing that you read about all the time, but I haven't actually seen firsthand experience on uh, Fickums taking injectors. Now, who knows? You know, this might, we might be Fickums taking injectors right here. I don't know. Um, but what we got right now is number three and number six with contribution balance on four and five and two and seven both look like crap some, from a start. So you guys know what I'm gonna say? I mean, full set, you know, but, or we could piece it in, we could piece it in. But if you wanna dust your hands, dust your hands and absolutely have a good start. Now, before we go that far, there's a lot more stuff we need to do before we will jump in on a full set, like get the Fickham fixed, right? Do another cold start on it before, uh, 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 we do the full set, um, run a hot relative compression, make sure that we're, that they, you know, that it's cranking even, make sure that it's got compression in all the cylinders, that we're not down on cylinder three and cylinder six and trying to throw an injector in it to cover it. Not sure. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and I might go ahead and take it for, well, you know what? I'm going to take it for a drive on the next one because damn thing needs to fix them. So we're pretty much committed to having to cold start it again. Go ahead and record this a little bit just in case. I mean, I I refer back to these a lot, to these uh, videos. I refer to them because I can't remember nothing. So just, I hate this freaking glare. Glare everywhere. If you go like that, you can't see a glare, but you can't really see the blue line as well. 
sex. Here, let's clear that out. Right now, it's just three and six. Which sucks, because that's both sides. What a drag. Let's go back to uh, data logger. See what we got for numbers. Let me cover that up. It's warming up pretty good, so... Thermostat's probably all right. Battery's charging pretty good, 14. I don't like to boost it up yet, because uh, it's still cold. I don't like to run, I like to let it just idle up and warm up in its own thing, so hang on. Okay, if you look here, our boost is actually pretty high. This MGP, I mean, we are a thousand, thousand RPM, 65%. I mean, there, yeah, there is a gauge for that, but we should only be seeing Let's see, 65% of 1,000, we're probably like 0.9 pounds, probably, so, but we had a, uh, I mean, we had a boost code, so, I don't know, it's a little high, kind of acting like the turbo's sticking, because this VGT is only telling what it is commanded to do, the 64%. That is not actually checking itself and giving feedback to what it is doing. The only sensor on the entire, uh, well, the only sensor that is being commanded to do and will tell what it is actually doing is the EGR valve. Well, and the fan speed, I guess, fan clutch. Oh yeah, where's fan clutch at? Let's check it. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Boom, okay, fan speed, no signal. All right, hang on. I can hear air like a mother. A fan is plugged in. And you can look, it's routed over that line right there. See how it's over that fuel line? That's wrong, guys. Don't do that. That's wrong. Don't do that. Run it under the fuel line. That's how it goes. Uh, we got all kinds of oil leaks. I'm looking down there. We got valve cover bolts not even... Valve cover bolt not even tightened up. We got... We kind of got a mess here. Who knows what we're going to find. If we go taking this apart, you know, we just have to do some cleanup. Uh, I can see it right there. Driver valve cover right down there. Wow, I can't believe I got that shot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, they got the bolts in the wrong spot. Whoever did injectors on this, I need to quit. I mean, uh, hopefully it's not you, Tom, because, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the, the stud's not, there's a bolt where the oil dipstick stud should go. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff in the wrong place, which is okay, whatever, it's fine. You know, anything can be fixed. Uh, this power line goes underneath this, guys, underneath it, not over it like it's going. I'm just kind of giving some stuff here. I'm picking it out. It's my job to nitpick a truck apart. Find stuff that's wrong and put it back how it's supposed to be. Uh, it's not far-fetched that the plugs are screwed up. We'll have to get it inside. Uh, it doesn't matter because the plug being screwed up. What I'm talking about, the plug, if uh, the injector harness is not plugged in all the way to the injectors. You know, we could be having that on three and six. Who knows? Because if you look at how the... Uh, well, how the rest of the truck looks, it's a little shaky. But generally, if they're not plugged in, it won't come back at all. Let me zoom out a little bit. It won't come back at all. See, when we first started it, they're way down here and gone. Who knows? But it warming up a little bit will also do that, too. Because uh, everything's getting warm. It's starting to smooth out a little bit. But I haven't even hit con shut off the compensation, which is a little too warm now. But it doesn't matter because... Uh, the problem is going to be, say we fix just three and six. Well, all the rest of them, those will come back up. Then we'll be fine tuning on the rest of the injectors. We could see number two and number seven going. Remember, we had a number four and number five contribution balance codes. So two, seven, three, four, five, and six. Seriously, <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know, there's just a point where if we dig into both sides, you're going to be a thousand dollars. I mean, you know, the injectors are 500, 200, 250 a piece, and then it's 250 a piece to crack the side open. You know, it's like, I mean, <laughs> that sucks. But, you know, it, it would just suck to spend time 
and money going after number three and number six and then number two and number seven. Number two and seven were crappy at cold start and four and five had contribution balance codes. So uh, I'm gonna get some temperature. Maybe we'll go drive this thing and we'll see if any other injectors drop off under load because that could be an option. It could be uh, the other two are dropping off. Thickum's holding good now, now that we've got a little heat in it. Hang on. Man, it's just running so bad. I don't think we can do a diag on it. I don't think we can do an actual oil cooler. I mean, we got injector, it's just crap. Here, let's see. And we got boost leaks too, but. Six is gone, six and three mainly. I mean, I can tell you, I guess, this truck will run a heck of a lot different if we just do number three, number six. I mean, I can tell you that. Let me go for a drive real quick. I'm not gonna go for a long, full oil cooler test drive. Oh, look at that, it just smoothed out. Oh, maybe I will. Let's go get on the interstate, hang on. Okay, I stopped right there and I'm smelling coolant. I wouldn't doubt if we have a coolant leak. And the transmission revving up so high, once again. Uh, boost leaks will cause a transmission to rev high cause it to be all kinds of crazy all screwed up. So what we'll do is uh, uh, I'm not hearing a lot of Y pipe indication. I'm hearing pressurized air leaking, which could be uh, Honestly sounds like just that cat tube probably who knows and I wouldn't doubt that turbo though Who knows hang on? Holy crap that boot is shot I'm gonna take the exit. I'm going back you ain't getting no boost at all. That cat tube is blown way out. Uh, let's hope I can get it up to speed here. Hang on. Steering wheel's a little to the right. Adjust that a little bit. Not quite centered up, but it's all right. We are gonna need a thermostat. Needs thermostat bad, 159 degrees. Just won't cut it. As of right now, I don't know. I mean, oil cooler doesn't appear to be too bad, but I'm not even warmed up yet, so hang on. All right, just preliminary here, I would say the oil cooler is good, but get a freaking flush done. You know, we need to get a flush done and get it, get some easy one in here. Uh, I could imagine this could be another truck where we would sell our intake to somebody that is deleted because that freaking hose under there, that piece of crap hose underneath the turbo, what a junk setup. And it's all twisted and all screwed up and looking like it's got oil oil leaking on it from the cac tube blown out and it's all deformed and nasty i mean it's it's gonna leak it it, it probably is leaking right now who knows but um uh, fixed cac tube so you know our list thermostat need a thermostat need cac tube injectors three and six and those of you talking about arc oil and rev x and all the freaking silly snot and snake oil that you guys sell to put in uh you know I guess the, that kind of stuff is good for people that don't want to keep the oil changed regularly, you know. I mean, uh, that's, you know, there is no, the end all fix for screwed up injectors, whether it be sticks in or whatever, is replace a freaking injector. You want to be done, be done. You know, and then keep the oil changed, keep up on the maintenance on it. I mean, you can go, you know, another 200,000 miles, maybe even more on a set of injectors if you drive it. Now, if you let it sit around, you know, obviously, who knows? Everything withers away when it sits and does nothing, but like this truck, this truck's got 240,000 on it. It's been driven, it's okay. Uh, but, you know, who knows how many injectors have been done. I wouldn't doubt it if injectors have been done and they probably put some cheap freaking knockoff crap in it. I don't know, I, that's just, I, I don't know the story behind the truck yet, so. But we need a power supply. Let, let's get our list here. Power supply, injectors three and six. We had a code for four and five, and two and seven looked like crap from the cold start. Okay, so two seven from the cold start, three and six are crap all the way through, and four and five had a contribution balance code. Power supply, thermostat, need a fan clutch, need a cac tube, uh, and need a whole bunch of wiring redone, rerouted, uh, switch out the valve cover bolts. We need to just switch out take basically take the valve cover I would almost say at least take the driver valve cover off Yank the driver valve cover and put it back right, but that'd be kind of stupid to, to do that If we're not going to go ahead and fix that number six injector at least 
you know, if you pay for us to fix the injector, we'll go through and fix all those bolts and everything, clean everything up. It's just freaking disgusting under there right now. So, uh, I don't know if I'm missing anything. I guess I'm sure Julia will watch back on the video. But, uh, yeah. We only got, we're running down the road. We got nine degree difference right now. I have tested that. Those that, those people that think that a thermostat will cause an oil cooler to look bad or good or vice versa, doesn't work. Not going to happen. The, uh, the, a cold thermostat will run cold coolant through the oil cooler and it will keep the oil cold. You can see it right here. I've been running on the highway long enough and we've only heated the oil up to 170 degrees. So those of you that think that you need to put a thermostat in to mask uh, uh, huge numbers and differences on the coolant and oil, if you think the, therm the oil cooler is good, the numbers are just bad because the thermostat's bad, no, it's not the case. You will be doing an oil cooler if your numbers are way off. I don't care what the thermostat numbers are at. And like right here, see I'm 11 degrees. We're 11 degrees difference. That's, you know, that's borderline, but whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> be all right. Power supply, fan clutch, CAC tube, injectors three and six, potentially two and seven and four and five. Uh, thermostats, blah, blah, blah. Coolant, coolant flush. Yeah. We got a laundry list. The, the hose down at the bottom is, it's, I think it's leaking. It's probably, I'm sure it's leaking right now. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that sucks. All right, guys, that's it. That's the laundry list. Right on. Have a good day, guys.